Do you ever find yourself asking your child a million questions and never quite getting the reply that you're hoping for? I often get requests for suggestions about how to get your child to answer the question. And so today I wanted to share with you five thoughts about how we approach questions with young children and some suggestions to help you kind of shift the challenge that is getting them to answer the question. So let's get started. You know I'm gonna say it as a first and foremost encouraging suggestion. Really question whether you need to ask this question. I'm often encouraging people to give rather than quiz. It's easy for us to get into question mode when a child isn't talking very much and we ask questions as a kind of prompt for them to talk, but we can do lots of other more helpful things. We can give a child language instead of quizzing them. So instead of saying, what's that? We can say, oh, it's a car. Or or instead of saying, what are you doing? We can say, oh, you're sliding, or oh, that's a big jump. So lots of comments and naming instead of questioning. So that's my first consideration is, do you need to ask this question? And then kind of related to that is, do you know the answer? If you know the answer to the question, you might not need to ask it. If you know the answer, then are you asking the question as a kind of test? Because I would suggest that we don't need to test kids. You know, there's lots more that we can do by joining them in play and modeling and commenting and then seeing what they spontaneously offer us, what spontaneous things they say back to us. If you have something that you are genuinely wondering about and you want to ask your child, then it's really useful to flag it to them. With talking kids that I work with, I will often flag up a question first and say, oh, I have a question. And I find that this often kind of helps the child tune into the fact that like, what I'm about to say is something that you might really need to pay attention to. And I always use the same phrase and the same gesture to really flag up to them that I'm saying something and I'll expect a response from you. I hope for a response. Another consideration is, does your child understand the question? Questions can take a variety of different forms and they can be really difficult to answer. Sometimes if you're asking your child like an opinion or a choice of something, they might not answer because they just don't know. They can't really decide what their opinion or their choice is, or they don't understand the language of the question. I made a whole video on how to consider the different levels of questions that you ask, and so I will link that up here. That's well worth checking out because that can help you to think about what kind of questions you're asking your child. Try to avoid why questions. Why is a really difficult question to answer and is often at a higher level of language, and so there's lots of other questions that you can ask instead of a why. Now, I know your kid is probably asking you lots of why questions. It's easy to ask why, but it's hard to answer. Another consideration is, are you giving visual clues to help your child answer the question? If you think that they might not be able understanding exactly what you're saying or even paying attention to what you're saying, then any extra visual that you can give them is helpful. So if you're asking them to make a choice, then of course holding up the objects is useful. Or if you're asking them to say yes or no, then if you hold up the thing that you're offering, that can help. I find it's often quite difficult to teach a child yes. No really works, right? Children learn no often quicker than yes because it's really powerful and important. Yes can be harder to teach a child. You might wanna think about who else is around you. Are there other people in the environment who could model saying yes in response to a question? Your child can see how yes is a part of what we do. Questions are also useful for highlighting the kind of key bits of information that we give within sentences and simple stories. I made another video about those key as those kind of story-based questions, so I will link that around as well. But also if you're helping your child to understand questions, then you might want to just pick one particular type. So for example, who is a really great one to start with. So we can, you know, when we're in a group, who wants pineapple? Or who wants the fireman hat? So we've got this who question that if you can use the same format again and again with just changing out the offer at the end, who wants toast? Who wants to walk the dog? Then you can, you've got this opportunity for them to kind of tune in and learn that question phrase and perhaps 
perhaps even start using it themselves. What, of course, is another key question word. I find often that if you're starting with a what, then maybe you might already know the answer. What are you doing? You might not need to ask. Instead, you could join and sit alongside your child and see what they're doing and then maybe comment on it. That's really useful if you're teaching your child action words as well. Another video, I'll link it here. We asked, did we say all the things? Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> favorite. Um, when you ask a question, embrace the awkward silence. Invariably, children benefit from more thinking time, more processing time than we often give them. So when you ask a question and don't get a response immediately, try waiting instead of repeating the question. Sometimes if you ask a question, don't get a response and then repeat the question again, you're just adding to the kind of processing load for your child. So try embracing the awkward silence. Ask that question and just wait and see what might happen. <laughs> I hope that gives you a few suggestions. If there's anything else you'd like to suggest to all of the viewers, do please let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you. You are awesome. And I will catch you around here sometime real soon. Okay, take care. <laughs>